In the previous videos, we understood that FastAPI is a modern, fast, and a high-performance Python web framework. In this video, we will see how to connect FastAPI with the database with the help of SQL Alchemy. Here are the topics that we will be covering in this video. First, we will have a FastAPI brief overview again. Then, we will understand about object relational mapper. And we will also see what modular app structure is. Let's start by looking each of these one by one. As we are already aware that Fast API is a fast, modern, and high-performance Python framework. Fast API is based on Pydentic and Starlet. Fast API also integrates with many packages, including ORMs. In this reach, we are going to use SQL Alchemy ORM because Fast API easily integrates with SQL Alchemy. And SQL Alchemy supports various databases like PostgreSQL, MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, and many more. Next, see what is ORM. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapper. And SQL Alchemy ORM is a mapper which helps to translate the database table record to a class object. Basically, SQL Alchemy is a library that facilitates the communication between Python program and different databases. Next, let us see what modular app structure is. When we are writing an application, it is a best practice to create independent and modular Python codes because the small and subprograms are easy to write, design, and understand compared them to the larger ones. Thus, modularization makes development quicker and it also helps to make our project maintainable. The another benefit of writing a software into the subprograms or in modules that modules are reusable because it is easy to relocate or link them with other application or code where they can fulfill similar tasks. Apart from this, modularized applications are easier to manage and scale. Now, let us open the Visual Studio code and see what we are going to build today. We are going to create a separate folder to keep the database related files. In this folder, we will be creating a session.py file, a base file, and a base underscore class py file. And we will also update main.py file with base.metadata.create underscore all and bind it with the engine to create tables and modules for our database. The SQL Alchemy is underscore declarative and base.metadata.create underscore all allows us to write a class to use many times in our program to use in DB. To begin with, first open the requirements.txt file and write SQL Alchemy and PSYCOPG2 libraries for database connection. Then install these dependencies using the command PAP install hyphen R requirements.txt in terminal. Now let's create a database connection. For this, I am going to create a separate folder named TB. Inside DB folder, I will create session.py, base.py, and base underscore.py file. Let us first create session.py file. In this file, we are creating SQL Alchemy engine with SQLite database URL. Then we are creating session local. The session local class instance will be the actual database session. Next, create another file and name it base underscore class.py inside the DB folder. In this file, we will create models for database. A model class is a Pythonic representation of a database table. Now we will create a super duper class. Every model will inherit this base class and we will utilize this base class to create all the database tables. Next, let me create another file and name it base.py file. The base.py file will have all the modules related to the tables created in database folder. Now we need to update main.py file. So head over to main.py file because whatever changes we have made in our API project, we need to tell main.py file about those changes we made in our project. So we need to update this file. Here we have imported the engine from db.sessions and base class from base.py. And then we bind the engine with base.metadata.createAll bind equals to engine. With this, we are done with our code. Now it's time to run the uvicon server. So type uvicon main colon app hyphen hyphen reload in terminal. As soon as you hit enter, you will see an SQLite database is created in the 
same project directory. That's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.